All right, what's one of the most influential factors in your life? Your family. Coming up this Pride Month, we show you one man's tribute to his family for making him who he is today. As we continue to celebrate Pride this Pride this Pride Month this June, as you know, growing up in an atmosphere of self-worth and self-pride can be the single biggest influence in your life. Fashion stylist George Worrell is telling the story of his family's influence in his new book, Dyed in Wool. George, you have been so busy. Congratulations on your new book. I know there's a lot of photos in the book and things, but why is this such an important story for you to tell? It's an important story for me because during the pandemic, I had lots of time to think. And um, mentally, I had some challenges. Thank God for my therapist. Wow. But, um, you know, got through that. But I started reflecting on just how great of a childhood and how great of an upbringing that I had and from the area that I was from, Atlantic City, New Jersey. And looking at all of these old photos that my parents gave me and that my grandmother gave me, it was inevitable that I would be in fashion because the people that I saw, my family, the neighbors, the people that were around me were so fashionable and just, they had a self-worth and self-pride is what I put in the book. It was just, it wasn't even, it was deeper than the clothing. The clothing was just the outside. It was just in those photos. You could see the value of their life and how proud they were to be existing and to be working and to be flourishing and to be going out. Yeah, you mentioned that self-pride during Pride Month. I think it's really important to say that, I mean, your family, they taught you how to be proud of yourself and to go into right an industry that you love. Yeah, but it was by happenstance. I mean, really? you know, I was history major and um, I wasn't really sure. And uh, I kind of figured out, I started with event planning and kind of segue into the fashion piece with a client. And I remember her saying to me, she said, oh, you're so stylish. Are you, are you, a, are you a stylist? And I'm like, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> but thank God I did have the, uh, the bones um, to come from a family. Like my uncle was a shoemaker and another uncle that was a tailor. And then I had an aunt who was in high fashion retail. So I grew up around it. So it was inside of me. I just didn't know it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's so good that you were in that environment that helped create who you are today. Um, something I didn't know about you, that you are celebrating your 25th, 25th year of sobriety as well. Congratulations on that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's one day at a time, and um, it allowed me to pursue my dreams because I thought at the time, if I just had to go to meetings and if I just stopped drinking, what would my life be? But then a, a gentleman at a meeting said to me one time that he had gone to Las Vegas and saw the fights and had flown first class. And I'm like, oh, I can have a life. I can pursue my dreams. Now in my mind, it's worth it. So, you know, 25 years later, it'll be 26 years in August. Wow. And um, yeah, it just, it just enabled me to have uh, the guts and the vision, the clear mind to pursue the dreams. And I've been very blessed yeah. to be able to do that and work with some fantastic people, including you. George is so sweet. All right, George's book is available on June 30th at all major online distributors.